Okay, I'm going to do one quick hand, or turn I should say, to help you guys out how to play. So we're doing a solo game here. And so for a solo game, you draw six cards. Um, so you go to the order to play a card, you draw, draw up to your uh, hand, hand limit, which is six. And then, after doing that, you discard and draw a card and that's optional, but in a two player game you can discard two cards and draw two more cards. You have to decide what to draw and all that good stuff. What you do is you look at the board and see what's in play. Of course this is the first turn, so everyone's in the archer. All the monsters in archer. So the only way you can attack a monster is you have to have a card that says, you know, the color. So for instance, I don't have any archers. You know, and if I had an archer, it had to be in the same color too. So, but I don't have any archers whatsoever to k even take any damage to these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard. I'll do these two swordsmen because it's going to take a couple turns to even be able to use them. And the reason why I say that is because at the end of this turn, it says remove monsters. So you move them up one. And then, then of course, you're going to draw more cards, then you move it up again. So it's going to take two turns before I can even use those swordmen. So I'm going to discard those two. So I'm looking for archers. We need to do some damage. All good. I got one. Just one archer, wow. Okay. So, I drew my hand limit. I discarded my two cards and drew two more. Um, solo play, you don't trade cards. So, next is play cards. <laughs> Easy enough, right? This game's pretty simple. So, again, all we have is monsters in the archer ring. These are the rings. So, looks like all I have is... Uh, a red archer. <laughs> so all he could do is hit one monster in the red archer ring. Well guess what? So come over here and you look and you have one monster. See these are hit points. So you know the goblins are pretty weak so there's just one hit point. So I'm going to take that one archer with one hit point and hit him and he is gone. And of course you discard that. And and that is all I could do. It's um, swordsman. I can only do. I can only hit in the swordsman ring. Can't do that. There's no knights. And oh, I didn't see this. A hero. A hero lets you hit a monster in the archer, knight, or swordsman ring. So technically, I could actually kill the other one. I didn't see this. Sorry, I thought it was a knight. So I'm gonna take that hero. Oh, hold on. I'll take the hero. No. And I'll hit this guy for one hit point, and that's all he has. So he's done. I'm just to you can throw him in a bowl, but I'm just gonna toss him over there for right now. And now that's all I can do because the knight can't do anything for right now. Mortar. Um, you need a you need a brick to build a wall, but we already have all the walls, so we don't need to build anything. Even if I ha even had the mortar, I can't or the brick, I can use it. So I'll probably end up discarding that. And of course, the swords. So I can't do anything else. So I drew my cards, discarded, drew more, couldn't trade, played my cards. Now it's time to move monsters. So we're gonna move monsters up one. Closer to the castle walls. Now, this is the fun part. Now, since I did that, you draw two monsters. So I'm going to go in my bag here, pick one out, it is a goblin. That's pretty easy. So what you do is you take your die and you're going to roll it, two, so then you place it in the forest. Just the start of the game is when you place them in the archer. So but from now on you're placing them in the forest, so I placed him there in the forest. Because these are sections. So that's a two, one, two, three, and so on. Anyway, 
And that was my first token. I have one more to do. Let's see what I got. Ooh, a troll. That's a little nasty. It takes three hit points. He has three hit points, not one like the goblin. So I'm going to roll. A three. So he's going to be placed right there. So again, that was just this one turn solo. And of course, you're going to be drawn up your hand limit. And I'm ready for the next turn. Well, I guess I already started. Technically, I started the next turn. But that is one turn. And I will continue doing more turns after this.